everybody. Welcome back to Honey Beginnings. Again, I'm Mike. We're going to be doing an unboxing today. Uh, this is all the equipment that I bought from Brushy Mountain Bee Farm. It came in Wednesday. I have no idea exactly what in each box, so we're going to open them up and see what's inside. Bear with me. I have no script. I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to do this. So here's the first box. So let's see what we got. Alright. Looks like the first thing we got is a bottom board. So we have a bottom board here with the inspection board that's used uh, to help figure out what your varroa mite count is. Next we got a queen excluder and my inner cover. My telescoping outer cover. And it looks like we have three medium supers in here with frames. So be careful with that. So all my hives are going to be mediums. I'm not doing any deep supers. I'm doing all mediums. So for the interchangeability of the hives. So you see, it's a medium sized frame. I'm doing 10 frame Langstroth hives. I went through Brushy Mail and I got all assembled equipment uh, to save myself some time. They do a great job of putting stuff together. You can see the uh, fittings are nice and tight. Nothing's wiggling here. So there's one body with frames, second body with frames, and a third body with frames. Now I ordered um, 10 frames total. I'm going to be doing two hives, each of six frames, uh, and I wanted to have some leftover frames in case I did a swarm capture or I needed to do some feeding and needed to put a top hive uh, feeder on there. So in a later video, I'm going to go over each of these uh, components as I uh, assemble a hive and we'll uh, talk about why I got the things I got and how they go together. All right, so this one's a little more intricate. We have our ubiquitous honeybee brush to get the bees off of your frames if need be. I got two entrance feeders. Uh, they're one quart entrance feeders. Uh, they come with a lid with the hole already punched. Uh, all I have to do is screw a mason jar on top of them and they're good to go. Got my hive tool. Uh, I went with the J hive tool for uh, ease of lifting frames. We'll talk about that a little bit more in some future videos. And here I have cut honeycomb uh, for my frames. I'll uh, open this up just so you can see. Doing a little bit of an experiment myself. I'm going with a wax frame foundation, but it's going to also uh, be small. A small comb. Uh, I've seen some anecdotal research on prevention of varroa mites with this uh, type of foundation. So I went with the small cell. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to tell here, uh, but this it's just plain wax foundation is very thin. It'll be good for a cut comb if I ever get to that point. Not sure what this box is. Looks like it's more foundation. It is. Now this is some crimp wire foundation that I'm going to be using. Uh, I went with the crimp wire foundation. Now this is the, the small cell as well. 
This will be in, used in my brood body because I don't plan on doing any cut comb or anything with it. This will just be for my brood chamber. And then inside here, I got my uh, second hive tool. As always, recommend to have a second hive tool because inevitably you're going to drop a hive tool in the grass and you're going to need it and not be able to find it. So it's good to have one right there. Next is three more medium high bodies, each with 10 frames. And I pulled that one out upside down. So again, all my stuff is from Brushy Mountain Beehive. It came highly recommended to me. Um, I've had no, no problems with customer service. They've been great. I'm very happy with all their equipment. So I would recommend them as well. And then here is the third one. So right there I have six high bodies. And that's enough to do my two hives. That, that will get me my brood chamber. But I would not have uh, any honey supers for myself or for emergency feeding or anything else that's solely for uh, the propagation of the hive and their food stores. So here's my last box. A little duplication of what we saw in the first box. Another bottom board with my inspection board at the underneath. Another telescoping cover, top cover. And I'm not gonna bother taking these out of the box, but it is another three more medium high bodies. And that is everything that came delivered to me. As a special bonus, I am gonna go get some stuff that I got for Christmas that came to me as Christmas presents that got me started. So here we go. Again, all of this stuff came from Brushy Mountain. Uh, this is their, their smoker. Works very good. I'll be doing an instruction video on how to light a smoker and, and get it going. Uh, hopefully that will be successful. Here is my bee suit. Um, I got the ventilated bee suit. Uh, I've actually worked with one of these before. Uh, it's a little heavy, but it breathes very well. So in the in the summer, you're not too hot. I went with the hatless veil. Uh, I like that just because it was all one piece. I didn't have to worry about trying to get a veil over top of. Um, a, a pith helmet or something like that. Uh, this works very good. It collapses. It's easy to store. I've got two entrance reducers, uh, one for each hive. Uh, these are needed at the beginning of your season so you can reduce the size of the entrance so that bees uh, can guard the hive better. My wife got me some sting away so it stopped the sting. Inevitably as a deep beekeeper, I was told in order to be a beekeeper you have to keep your bees alive through the winter and you have to be stung. So. I have a, a frame holder, so holding the frames when you're doing your hive inspections. I have another queen excluder and inner cover. And my last hive body with 10 frames. Last but not least, I have two hive stands uh, that the hive bodies themselves will sit on. Um, they'll be placed on, you know, elevated above the ground. But this gives a nice sturdy foundation to put your hive bodies on. So that's all I have for now. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And until next time, remember, every day is a new beginning.